Hey guys, it's iPlayiHack here, just wanting to show you how to install Lion on your Hackintosh computer. Uh, three things we need is a USB, uh, a copy, a legitimate copy of Lion, uh, and a piece of software called Unibees. Now, I just want to make sure that you know that US, the USB we need is, needs to be 8 gig or bigger, so you can use a hard drive. Um, Alright, so I'll just plug it in. And we'll just go to uh, Disk Utility. Uh, we want to click the title up here, not this little subdivision thing. Partition, we want to create one partition called USB. We want to make sure it is set to Master Boot Record. We hit Apply, we hit Partition. Alright, while that's going, we want to make sure that our Lion installer is in our Applications folder, otherwise it, this won't work. So it needs to be in the Applications folder for Unibees to find it. Right, so the partition is complete. So now, in my downloads, and it's probably in yours too, I've got Unibees. So I'm going to open that up. Continue, 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 agree. Uh, yeah, you won't be able to install it on these drives. You need to install it on a USB. Alright, tick this box here. Now, if you're using a laptop for your Hackintosh like me, you need to tick this box here. Otherwise, you won't be able to use your trackpad or your keyboard. Alright, so click continue. Hit install. When it says this will take up 11 megabytes, it doesn't really. It takes up about 3 gigs because it's copying your... Uh, Lion install over to your scan uh, over to your USB and making it bootable. So hit install. This will take about um, I don't know 15 to 20 minutes depending on your hardware. Um, so just go have some lunch or grab a cup of coffee or something. Power on your uh, Hackintosh and then just hit F12. Well, for me, it's at 12 to get to my boot menu. USB storage is what you want. Okay, when it comes to USB, all you gotta do is hit dash V. That goes into the boss mode. And we're in the install for Lion. So I'm just going to go ahead and reformat my Excel hard drive. I'll show you guys how to use this with a bootloader as well. So the only downside is you're going to have to use your 8 gig USB, which I know for some of you will be a pain. the hard drive cool that's done now I'm just going to install it so 
so that looks like about 20 minutes. Yeah. Alright, there we have it. We have successfully installed Line. And we'll restart it. Um, now I'll just show you guys how to uh, use a bootloader to boot off Line if the um, DSTT file doesn't work for you. Alright, so I'll just hit F12 again. So basically we'll still be using that USB bootloader because that's the only bootloader that can recognize line at the moment. Um, I'm sure um, I'm sure that there'll be other bootloaders that will recognize it sooner. Okay, so if you hop into your BIOS for a second, you'll see USB storage and there'll be a plus because one I've got um, this little hard drive down there plugged in. So I've got that plugged in. And I also have my little scan disk plugged in, so I'm just going to show you guys how to boot off USB, but boot into line. So um, here, so if we hit Control Enter, is it? Yeah. Control Enter. As you can see, generic external is that silver one there. So basically, what's going to happen is when you get into your BIOS, it's going to be like that, and you won't be able to boot onto your scan disk. So if you just hit uh, go down to scan, scan disk and hit F6 puts it at the top of the booting list and that way you can boot from it. Alright, so if we hit F10 I just want to save my configuration Right, I'm gonna boot into the boss mode, so I'm just gonna go dash V, hit enter. So there we go, now it's gonna boot off our um, hard drive. So if we look down there, you can see the little red light on. going a lot quicker than the USB, that's for sure. Yeah, yeah, there we go. Uh, what? Oh, no. I've got a keyboard, what are you talking about? Oh well, luckily I have a USB and cheapo. I don't know what that's on because I can type perfectly. So yeah, if you get that error, just make sure you got a, a little USB wide keyboard to get past that screen. I'm still working on getting all the graphics fixed up, but I just wanted to show you guys. Especially those users that have the same computer as me.
Yeah! You have successfully installed Lion on your Hackintosh. Now, I'll upload another tutorial with uh, multi B so you can make sure you get all your settings correct and everything. But thanks for watching, this is iPlayiHack, just wanting to show you how to uh, put Lion on your Hackintosh. Don't forget to subscribe.